Good morning everybody. It's uh, it's 20 to 10. We're not rushing this morning because it's very very windy and misty and low cloud up high. So the plan is to try and miss some of the mist and the low cloud so we want to try and get over the pass about one o'clock or thereafter so we're probably not really rushing to leave here until you know for another hour hour and a half something like that everything got quite Damp. Our trousers got wet last night. I'm thinking I might just try and get this plastic sheet out. Because I like to use the plastic sheet as a, a little bit of a waterproof little extra area here. but. It's not absolutely essential now. <coughs> but we haven't done too badly though. We've done quite well here. It's very sheltered. Um, midges haven't been too bad, to be fair, thankfully. I think there's a little bit of a breeze coming through here. Not very much. I've got a smoky thing there. which I think is helping to keep them at bay a little bit as well. Okay, well, welcome to camp. This is the morning after. This is just the outside of it. It's started to try and get a few bits half ready. But I think we're going to be, we're going to have a cup, cup of tea this is sheltered in the trees over there the main path is runs over there somewhere at least the sun's trying to come out so that's something there's a rather pretty waterfall and a wee breeze down there unless you found a slept in the forest and I think she's bringing the forest I think she's bringing the forest with her oh let's see you got the wind up your bum <laughs> there's another waterfall there Ooh. this is quite windy We gotta hope we can get over the pass because if we if we can get over the pass, apparently it's a bit awkward the other side. So, and that's without wind. <laughs> that's without wind. So we'll have to see how we get on. I'm just. Uh, I must admit, I've been really lazy this trip. <laughs> I've just put the wind slayer thing on the microphone. I did bring the external mic, but I will admit I've not I've not used it. This wind slayer thing just seemed to work quite well. And I've been really trying to conserve power. Although stupidly I left the GoPro running earlier without um, stopping the cord. So I drained the battery down a bit and I put some more power in it.
things are picking up a little bit here. We're, we're going to meet the river at some point. And we've got to cross the river and then we've got to head up the mat. The valley over there. Winds uh, forecast to be 40 gusting to 50 and they're pretty breezy now so although that's on the top although very bizarrely Insular Damp which is at the bottom of the valley has the same weather reading as Ben Moore which can't realistically be possible given it's about 900 meters lower but we're thinking it's going to be on the breezy side to get through and then once we're through the pass which also apparently is quite rocky and steep so must be I'm not partic particularly looking forward to that but I'm sure we will I'm sure we will get past it. Oh, there's the path there. <laughs> I'm forever losing paths. But we're a stream down through there. Yeah, so the pass is 500 meters and the top. Yeah is just under a thousand so it's not that high <laughs> we'll just see what it's like when we get there heading up the that pass through there we're just going to go down here and then over in that direction and then up the other side it's quite a quite a nice flat valley here if it was sheltered and it wasn't windy and you weren't in a rush to get over that pass it's quite nice camping spots down there by the river so we were following the path and then we've you, you could go that way around and up we could kind of come down this way and we're gonna head up that way up there up to the pass up there slow cloud but that's way above the pass so visibility certainly isn't going to be a problem just got to figure out where we cross this river you can see the forest right in the distance. Lassie. I thought maybe it was rather a long way away to be excited. For Lassie to be, yes. The Lassie. Lassie and Chris and we're coming up to the pass it's gonna get a bit on the breezy side says 512 meters I think the official height is 508 but close enough so this bit's nice and easy there's some 
rocks or something that we've got a crossover. Nice young lady, <laughs> nice young lady walked past us. Megan, if you watch this, <laughs> I'll give him a number. I don't, don't need to behave. <laughs> oh God. Yee. There's a dead sheep down there. <laughs> We're waiting for the mountain man to come over the, the pass. There we go. Lassie! Lassie eating something. Dung or something. Oh. Anyway, it's it's windy, but it's not too windy. It's not uh, so far. Is not as bad as I was expecting. Although it's quite, it's quite. A, <laughs> It's quite a headwind. Ooh. But there's a quite a decent path through here. Oh, look at me. <laughs> we'll take off in a minute. Should have the kite, kite. Well, I've got the tarp. Mind you, the trouble is the wind's blowing the wrong way. <laughs> can set the tarp up as a parasail. Oh. Apparently Chris has come down that side. Maybe there's a path, I don't know. Okay, but he's come down from up there somewhere and gone up there. How in the name of God? someone walk up there. Yee. We've got a little stone path here. I reckon, I reckon Alan Titchmarsh has been through here. This uh, wind shirt is doing well. Someone was asking how breathable it is. Very. It's very wind resistant. I can't really feel the wind. I can't feel the wind through it. Oh, you can just see Megan going down over there. It's a human, human shape. There's supposed to be a difficult bit somewhere. <laughs> this is, I got a feeling this is leading us into a false sense of security or something. Ooh. All right, well that's this side of this. And we've got to go up here. I don't quite know what's going to be at the other side. We will, we will find out. I'm going to put this away and use my poles. A lock through there. He so just walks along there. It's very narrow, right on the edge. So how needed. It's it's not quite as windy. Uh, well, oh, I said that. <laughs> as soon as I said that, it uh, fuck. I'm going to hold my balls. Okay. Well, 
we got over it. It's okay. It's uh, I, I didn't film it. I <laughs> I was clinging on. Chris walked through two poles, one in one in each hand, just very careful foothold. It is on the side of a a rock. So I put one pole in my left hand, well I put both poles in my left hand. So like I was sort of holding holding one and using one in the left. But it's one advantage with the pacer poles, you can kind of thread your pole through the hand grip, which makes uh, for a very convenient thingy bob. Oh. Down now. I think we've done the. I definitely think that's the worst of it now. I think once you're down the other side, so really that wasn't that wasn't as bad as I was a bit worried. Like I said, the forecast was very strong winds, which we certainly got, but luckily they weren't blowing us off our feet. That would have been very dangerous. So we got through. <sighs> And we're heading down, heading down, 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 and then we've got to find somewhere to camp if we can find a sheltered spot before Inshallah Damp. And then once we're in Inshallah Damp, basically we get into Inshallah Damp tomorrow if we can camp tonight. If it's windy like this, we'll probably go straight to Inchula Dam. But hopefully, hopefully we can find somewhere to camp. Oh, dear God. All right, I'm gonna concentrate. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate it when the path on there. We can get through here, that's okay. I hate it when the path just suddenly disappears. But... it was dry doing that I think I'd have been, been even more nervous if it had been wet but we like I said we weren't you know today the thing that we were having to decide yesterday was did we do that crossing today or tomorrow because tomorrow is marginally less windy but a lot lot colder and still very windy and more chance of rain tomorrow and mist so we were kind of thinking well, well we better go for it today and just deal with wind <laughs> we're good at that um you know rather than a bit less wind but still very windy wet misty and everything else so The right decisions were definitely made there. So we gotta get down this huge steep embankment. I wonder where Megan is. <laughs> I think she's miles ahead. Chris came to <laughs> There is a, a sort of a path down there, so I came down there. I think Megan came down there. We're gonna have to name this, this video Megan. 
but I came down there and then crossed over I did get my feet wet I wasn't prepared to try and jump stones especially in this wind I'm not the most balletic or bal <laughs> I'm not the most balanced of people so I and it's not cold and the beauty of trail runners you can just dunk your feet so and then we're going down this deep gorge and we've got to hope we can find somewhere to camp down there in for God's sake. Yeah he's done the same as me. Dunk those legs. Well, we've followed this stream down and it disappears under there. It's just gone. Comes down here. We're probably going to find somewhere up here to pitch for the night. So there the water just goes, completely gone, just got some pools there, down there and then a cave over there. Chris was saying this is the start of a little limestone area so obviously the water has disappeared down there and when you come up here the river goes down there but underground it's disappeared and you can see the cave in there and one dry riverbed